God, Claire. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I don't know how to talk to him. I don't know how to be with him. He must be... He must be hurting as much as me. I'm no use. If... If I believed in something, it might help. If... If I thought you could hear me, see me, that might make a difference. But... Of course, that's a silly thing to want. Neither of us believed in anything like that, did we? Tim, you little devil. What are you doing up there? Watching you. What are you doing here, anyway? You know what I was doing. Well, this is my tree. It used to be mine. Well, it is my tree now. Hmm. Can I come up? Only if you know the password. Mum? That's not the password. It's the only one I've got. OK, then. I used to love this tree, you know. You could see everything from up here. I used to hide from everyone up here. I didn't know that. You never told me that. This was where I met your mother. Hey, what you do that for? Wanted to get your attention. Well, you could have hit me. You want to come on up? Up there? Yeah. It's too high up for me. Come on, you can do it. I'm not so sure. You'll be all right. How old were you, Dad? About your age. And Mum? A bit older. She used to live in that posh house up the hill. But she climbed your tree. Oh, great place to be. We could see everything from up here. The postman making his rounds, my mum hanging out the washing, her dad coming home in the big car. She knew she had to go home then. So, you were spies then? Oh yes, spies, outlaws, whatever we wanted to be. Sometimes we'd be on the lookout for the sheriff's men. And mum played that? We played every game we could think of. Mostly we were sailing a great three-masted ship across the seas. Sometimes we'd be fighting the French, sometimes the Spanish. Sometimes we'd be in search of exotic and strange new lands. Did you find any? Oh yes! Lots of them. The map of the world would be much more interesting if we had drawn it. Sometimes we'd discover terrifying new creatures, like the flog bog. A flog bog? Oh yes, it looks like a frog. They're roughly dog size and very good at climbing trees. Ugh, sounds gross. Mm. Could never get past this branch though. So we'd make our way up to the top and we'd throw sticks at us. What if it was there when you had to go home? Oh, my mum used to beat a saucepan when it was time for tea. Vlogbug ran like a rabbit. We all did. You didn't want to be late for tea, I can tell you that. And mum, did she run like a rabbit? She flew. She couldn't be seen with me. So she crouched down and ran along the hedge back home. No one could see her. But you married her? Her mum and dad didn't like seeing her with me. She was sent to another school. Granny and Grandpa did that. She came here crying. They're sending me away to school. Horrible girls' school with a silly uniform. Miles from here. They can't do that. Telling me they don't want to go. They want me to grow up posh like them. I hate them. You finish school one day. Not till I'm nearly grown up. Who wants to be playing in a tree when they're grown up? You be home in the holidays. I can marry or something like that. Like in the films. Then we can do what we like. You can't get married until you're old. That's forever. Well, I can come to your school and kidnap you. Then we can go to Gretna Green. My grandma told me about that. You go there and they don't ask any questions. I bet they ask how old you are. And did you run away and get married? We didn't have to. We 
did something we shouldn't during the holidays, and then you came along. They couldn't stop us then. You mean she got pregnant? Not until later. Not till she was 17. Worked a treat. I was the reason you got married? Best reason we could think of. And now she's dead. We still love her. We still have her. We will always have her. And we still have the tree. And the flock log. And where shall we set sail to next? Wherever you'd like. South by Southwest. And home in time for tea. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh. You're the captain now, Tim. <laughs>